Who wants to bring in more magic into your life? I am going live a little bit early today, so I will just um, hang out and let you all join me. Getting my water. Mm. And as you drop in today, I invite you to put hashtag magic into the chat. Whether you're here with me live or on the replay, you are watching this because the fairies have invited you to play. And I invite you to really drop into your magic. What does magic look like to you? What is the magic that you carry at your heart center? What is the magic that emanates out of your fingertips or shines out of your eyes? Who would like to invite more magic into your life? If you want more magic in your life, then type hashtag magic in the comments and put in there also how do you experience magic what makes you say oh that's magical is it a starry night a lunar eclipse a rushing waterfall a still and quiet forest i was blessed last week to be leading an intimate group of healers through the magical wonderland of Fairy Falls, just down the hill from Mount Shasta. And this spot here, I feel is a fairy cathedral a fairy gathering place. Maybe it's more of a community center. Can you see the fairies dancing in between the leaves, hiding behind the rocks, gathering on the moss and splashing in the water below? I can. In today's show, we're going to invite in the magic of the fairies. And even more so, we're going to in invite in the magic that you carry. Fairies come out to play because you are emanating your magic. So if you want the fairies to come and visit you the next time you take a walk in the woods, then I invite you to watch this show, to do the practice with me that I'll be bringing forth in a little while. And then to open up your awareness, open up the eyes at the back of your heart, that space that senses and feels a presence beyond what the physical eyes see. And you will start to see those little light beings that dance in and out of this dimension and the next. So we are just hitting the top of the hour now. We went live a little bit earlier. So if you're just joining us, I invite you to drop into your magic. Would you like to experience more magic in your life? I know for me, each time I go into the forest and really open my awareness, there is infinite magic available. Who here has had an encounter with fairies? Drop it in the comments below. If you have seen the little people, the little light beings dancing through a forest near you, splashing in a waterfall, hiding behind a flower, or rustling the leaves, My name is Kira Lani. I'm known as Tree Gong Healer, and I guide healers on their journey of mastery to heal the old wounds that keep you small 
to step into your power, unleash your gifts, and bring your magic into the world. And so today we're calling in the assistance of the fae folk, the fairies of the forest and the streams to assist this process. So when I was at Fairy Falls, this is just below the falls and this is the first place we stopped. And in this place, you can see the energetic protection that the fairies have placed around this home space, this town hall, council building, cathedral for the fairies to gather. There is a palpable energy field protecting them and it vibrates in the presence of humans so that they can be aware of who's entering their domain and they can act accordingly. When an innocent child comes in, they may show themselves. When someone who embodies the innocence of childhood comes in, they also show themselves. And one of the themes of the retreat was to allow our inner girl to come out, to laugh and play. And so I invite that in today into this show. And I'd love to see in the comments from some of you, what makes your heart sing? What makes you laugh with unbridled delight? What makes you feel like a child? Is it splashing in a stream? Is it climbing a tree, swinging on a swing, running through a field, dancing with abandon in the moonlight? I'd love to activate the feeling that you feel when you do some of these things. And now we're gonna go even a little deeper. Enter the fairy home. This sweet little fairy home is at the top of the path, leading down. And this is at the base of a very tall tree. It's actually like a fairy high rise. And when you place your hands on this tree, you can feel the vibrating energy of fairies vibrating all the way up to the tippy top. And this doorway, you can see how there's a light in the doorway, even as it enters into the center of the tree. And so I invite you here to lay down an energetic offering for the fairy people. Lay down your good intentions, your good will to the fairy hey, folk. Show them a level of trust that allows them to let you in. Show them the level of trust that you are willing to allow them in. So as you drop into what offering you would like to make to the fairy people, take a moment to bring your awareness into your heart. This is a heart offering that I'm asking you to make. So as you breathe into your heart, Imagine a beautiful flower is blooming there. What does this flower look like? What is the shape of the flower? What is the color of the flower? How many petals does it have? What does the center of the blossom look like? And what sweetness, what aroma is wafting up from the blossom of your heart? Now imagine that as you breathe in this delightful aroma, you can breathe the essence of your heart's blossom up through your heart and then exhale it out your mouth as if blowing a blessing to the fairies. See it dancing on the breeze as it arrives at the 
the doorway to the fairy abode. And take a moment to witness the fairies receiving your offering. And now a fairy comes forth with an offering for you. What is the fairy offering you? The fairy is offering you access to your magic. Will you accept? What does it look like? This key to your um, gifts. How will you use it to unlock your heart and bring forth what you came here to offer. Take a moment to receive the gift from the fairies. Breathe it in and place it in your heart. And then allow it to arrive, fully receive it, feel it integrating into your system. And now, as you have gained the trust of these impish, mischievous, delightful beings, they invite you to join them in honor of the queen, in the queen's mansion. This beautiful you to you. You are invited to enter, to lay your gifts at the feet of the queen and receive the royal blessing that allows you to walk fully in your power for the rest of your days. Soften your gaze and as you gaze upon the entrance to the queen's mansion, Visualize what it looks like inside. Can you see the fairy folk welcoming you in, gathering around to honor the, the, their honored guests, gathering around their honored guests, showering you with delightful song and laughter, holding your hands as you dance in a swirl of magical light and leading you to lay your gifts at the feet of the queen. The queen with her long silver hair looks down upon you, beaming with light, smiling with maternal love, unconditional love and acceptance for you as you are. And she waves her wand and showers you with fairy dust. Receive the blessing she is giving you to activate what is within you, just waiting to bubble forth in laughter, in song, in dance, in prayer, and in abundant prosperity for all the ventures that you hold near and dear in your life. Bow in gratitude to the queen, laying down your heart's gift recognizing that the more you give of your heart, the more your heart is blessed and opened.
and the fairies lead you to be baptized, to be blessed by the sacred waters of fairy falls. And this beautiful healing pool at the base of the Queen's Mansion. I invite you in to the crisp, cold water to immerse yourself and be washed clean of all the unconscious and conscious shame and blame, guilt and resentment that you have been carrying. Allow yourself to be reborn as if you can go back into the womb of the mother and emerge as a new you, the new you that is completely, authentically, truly who you came here to be. Washed clean of all experiences, retaining the lessons, but washed clean of the guilt, the shame, the resentment, the frustration, the doubt, the anger, the worry and emerging as a clear channel of your gifts, confident, present, whole, innocent. Rest in this feeling of innocent wisdom that this pure healing water is gifting you. Receive the blessing of the moment. And bring your breath and your awareness back into the center of your heart. Coming into the center of the center of the center of your being. And see your heart blossom springing forth anew. See how vibrant your heart blossom is now that you have received the gifts of the fairies and the blessing of the sacred healing water. See that blossom expanding into more vibrant color, perhaps more depth of color. Maybe it even has more petals or is shifting into a different form. Once more, breathe in the aroma of your heart flower. What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What is the essence that is being evoked within you from connecting with the fairy magic? And as you rest here, in this heart space, you can hear the laughing, tinkling voices of the fairies playing in the waterfall behind you. We love you, they sing. You are so beautiful. You deserve to be all that you can be. La 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 da di da da di da da di da da di di la da di da da di da da di da 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 di da da di da 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 di da da la di di da 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 di da 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 da. Oh, reproducing the fairy song is a humbling experience. Their laughter is like bells. Their song is like a bubbling brook. Their dance creates spirals of light, droplets of water flying everywhere. Receive the music, receive the love, 
receive the beauty and recognize it as a reflection of you, of all that you are and all that you can be. Recognize that you, just like this crystal clear pool of water, are right where you're meant to be, doing exactly what is needed to serve the purpose you came for. And the more you consciously choose to be in this, the more engaged you are with every part of life, with the most minute pebbles, the massive trees, the mountains, the water, the wind, the sky. The more you are engaged with all of life, the more your gifts will begin to spill forth from you. I'd love to hear from some of you in the comments below if you had a particular activation or vision come through, if you had a sudden recognition of something that you are meant to bring into the world in honor of the fairy folk, the trees, the rocks, the water, Drop that in the comments. I'll be checking in with you and responding to all of your comments, whether you're here with me live or watching on the replay. You are so valued and needed on this planet. After visiting this amazing location of Fairy Falls and Mount Shasta and the red fir trees and the tall pines and the beautiful birches, the leaves you see in this picture are a young birch tree reaching out over the water. I have become so inspired to bring my gifts to the world in a greater way. And to that end, I am creating a series of master classes where you can join me for free on Zoom or in my Facebook group, The Healer's Journey. I'm sorry, the Facebook group is The Healer's Space for Mastery. And I highly recommend joining me in the Zoom classroom, however, because these master classes are going to be an opportunity to gather in community, to go into a deep dive together and really glean the information, to really integrate the information rather than just receiving it through video. When you come into the Zoom classroom, you'll be able to interact with each other, to go into breakout rooms. So there will be a segment recorded for Facebook Live, but the meat of the workshop will be unrecorded in those breakout rooms and mastermind sessions. So the first of this series of mastermind classes will be June 25th, which is a Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, and someone is very excited to see you there. I just know it. I'm excited to see you there. So if you'd like to join me for this next masterclass, which will be all about the four secrets to decoding your gifts, to unlocking the key to you bringing your unique essence into the world to guide you into the next steps on your healer's journey, um, to clear out any doubt that you truly are magic and have you connecting clearly to the inner guidance that is right there with you all the time following it with clarity and grace and really bringing through your personal codex. So you may have seen 
masters bringing through a codex for humanity. Each one of you has a personal codex. Would you like to decode your magic, bring your gifts into the world and know without a doubt that you are on your path of highest purpose? Then click the link in the description of this video or in the comments below to sign up for decode the four secrets to decoding your gifts right here on zoom i'm on zoom i know you're watching me on facebook june 25th 1 p.m pacific 4 p.m eastern i look forward to seeing you there i am on a mission to bring more healers fully in touch with their gifts so that we can change the planet healing one healer at a time to stand in her power hold her center and heal the planet i love you all so much it is such a blessing to be here with you and i'm going to wrap up this session with a light language session so drop in with me and I will, as the light language comes through, I may go through the images one more time so that you can really enjoy the magic of Fairy Falls with me. So drop into your heart with me one more time. Breathing into that center of love, of inspiration, of passion, of dedication and devotion. And a special healing is coming through for your heart, from my heart to your heart today. Stepping back through the doorway of your heart into your life, how will you carry these blessings forth with you? Let me know in the comments what you received from this session today and what you will be taking with you. And let me know when you sign up for the Four Secrets to Decoding Your Gifts. It's going to be an amazing masterclass live workshop on Zoom where you will be able to share and get feedback from the group, mastermind, go into breakout rooms, as well as learning some powerful techniques to unlock your personal codex. So see you June 25th. That is a week from Friday. And until then, you deserve all the love.